Rule four of being a future expert is to build a team. Now, most people who build online businesses, they kind of want to stay by themselves doing all the tasks in their business. Um, and they're kind of scared to hire. I think the reason why this is because in the beginning when you start your business, you have a genuine belief that you're the only person who can do the tasks in your business properly. Right? You feel like um, if somebody else did the tasks, they just wouldn't be done to the same quality. But at the end of the day, what happens is when you don't hire and you can't delegate, you just end up with tons and tons and tons of tasks that you're doing in your business that you probably don't even realize that you're doing that drain you. Right? They're outside of what I call your zone of genius. Like you have certain things in your business that really energize you, such as helping people, sharing your knowledge, getting people results, marketing, sales. Right? These are some things that perhaps you might love. You might hate doing admin work. You might hate bookkeeping. Right? You might hate, uh, I don't know, automation, dealing with software. You might hate customer service on the front end. If you're doing all of this stuff, then the time for the stuff you really love doing that you feel energized is squeezed down and this actually makes you feel drained, makes your output much worse. In fact, a lot of people get stuck in this situation for a long time and it's understandable because hiring and delegating is kind of scary, right? You've got this weight on your shoulders of a cost and a time um, factor like if something goes wrong you're going to waste a load of time and a load of money right with a bad hire so it can be scary to actually move forward and start hiring people to build your team so how do you move past this well it all starts at the stage when you want to hire your first position right a lot of the time when i see job posts that people have put up on places like monster or um, any of the other job sites the job roles are actually very vague I wouldn't be able to get a clear idea of what I would be doing in that position. This is a huge problem because then anybody that you want to hire, you're not going to attract the type of person that you're looking for, right? Because the type of person who would be perfect to work for you would love the fact that you've broken down exactly what's expected of them, right? So first of all, you want to create a clear cut job role. Then you want to try and get as many applicants as you possibly can to apply for the job, right? That's super key. If you only have a few, then it's really difficult uh, to, to land on somebody who's gonna be the perfect fit. It's just the law of averages, right? You want more people, so you have a cast a wider net and have better quality come towards you. Then once you do have people working for you, right? You've found a few good staff members, the key is to have a rhythm with how you communicate with your staff. So instead of just the odd Skype message, have a meeting like every Monday just to set expectations for the week so you can make sure everybody understands what you're doing, gets the vision of the company, and can be as productive as possible in that week. So these are a few tips that you can use to start building a team, start thinking about hiring, just to enable you to do more of what you love inside your business and enable you to grow faster. Now, if you'd like to have a peek inside my business and see what my first hire was, how I did it, how it changed things for me, I'd love for you to download my book, The Future Expert. All you have to do is click the link at the top uh, of this video. You'll be able to see the other 10 rules for what it takes to be a future expert. And also on page 33, you'll see all the information about how I hire and how I built my team. So click the link on the top and I'll catch you very soon.